I was diagnosed with um, stage three bowel cancer in 2023. Um, it took a little while to find out my actual di diagnosis um, because I had I had some bleeding a few years prior, um, and yeah, doctors just kept um, telling me it was hemorrhoids or severe gastro or the yeah there were three different occasions that I went to three different doctors in Canberra and they told me it was severe gastro um, and then yeah when I came up to Darwin I was finally diagnosed with um, bowel cancer at 23. Having the support of my my family and friends was immense um, You can't do it without them. Um, there's days when you're down and you look to them for that support. Um, and they're just always there. Even before you even have to ask for support, they're already doing it. Um, towards the end of my um, chemotherapy treatment, they Darwin Dragons reached out to me and actually suggested um, creating a bowel cancer awareness round, um, which which was great. That helped me get through um, my treatment. It was a major success. Um, I think I just got word the other day that we raised $17,200 um, in that um, to, to go towards Bowel Cancer Australia, so. Apart from advocating for other young people, it's also about making medical practitioners more aware that it can affect it doesn't matter what age you are, like in Todd's instance, he was, um, you know, misdiagnosed for so long. Um, because of his age, you know, they said, they didn't even sort of consider that it could be bowel cancer. Um, and then, you know, one of the doctors said, you know, we could do a stool sample, but we wouldn't want to put the laboratory people through that. Like, that's what their job is, that's, you know, if they'd caught it sooner, he wouldn't be stage three cancer, you know, like, and just the impact that it's had on his life, you know, not being able to work for eight months, like medical practitioners, if they'd done the right thing and done those further tests, he wouldn't have to be doing what he's had to do at the age of 23, like, but in actual fact, it was medical people in Darwin that actually took him serious and, and progressed and, you know, got him through, hey, yeah. <laughs> My message for other other men, other women, other Territorians, just everyone, would be know your body and trust your body. Um, not just for bowel cancer, but for everything. You know, you, you know how your body works and, and when it's not doing what it should be. I mean, I, I went to doctors multiple times about bleeding in my stool and after, after that long, I began to think that it was normal. Um, deep down, I always thought it's not, but after seeing doctors so many times, you, can, you know, you kind of second guess, oh, I guess maybe they're right. But yeah, if, if it's something like that, get a sixth opinion if you have to. That's what I did. Because um, yeah, if it's too late, it's too late. The impact it's had on my life is, I would say, more, in a weird way, more positive than negative. Um, I think that's the type of person I am though. I like to take a lot of positives out of every situation. Um, at the time, definitely negative, you know, that's, that's something no one wants to go through and no one should have to go through. But you don't get to pick and choose what, how your life plays out. So I've taken some positives out of it. Um, some hard hard life lessons um, but yeah I'm, I'm never gonna live my life um, like I don't have another day you know I'm gonna live every day like it's my last um, and that's what I'm grateful for out of this journey <laughs>